I'll take a corner. Welcome to my studio. Is this what you do full time? Yes. Yeah, full time also. Yes. Artist in the morning, till the next morning. So <laughs> wow. I'm a full time artist. I to you practitioner. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, um would you mind giving us a the rundown of your background, your social background, educational background? Okay. Um, I was born in Benin City. And if you know Benin City very well, it's a, it's a, they have this artistic tradition. It goes um, way back. Yes, it's, 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 I grew up around cultural practices and, you know, seeing, so it was a norm for me to see people doing art. Where, where, where other people in your family accepted the name of their colors, sculptures? Not in my family, no. So you're more of the athletic people, no, no. And you're based on the church. <laughs> See a lot of meaning and work here. Yeah. So uh, where have you trained? Um, I, I graduated from the University of Benin Bissau and I left with a bachelor's degree in science and majored in social. Studied there under artists like Eldrad, or oh. Ozu. Yeah. So those are my first influences. And you know, then while in school, I that's when I got my first experience with Universal Studio of Art as an industrial trainee. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the National Theatre. It's a landmark experience for me, so that was the first time I got some exposure to the industry here in Lagos and people, meeting people. A lot of people I've not heard for heard of. So growing up in Benin, I a lot of artists I did not know about. A lot of galleries, a lot of you know happenings in the industry. That was my first real exposure to the Lagos art scene. Over time, and I I'm, I'm more focused on things to come. I think that's 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 a better way to put it. Yeah, in the past, yeah. Yeah, I'm focused. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to focus on things to come and accomplishing more. I guess. Okay. Uh, so who? Uh, what inspired you towards this line of work that you were creating? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. The, I, as far as art goes, my inspiration to become an artist has. Well, it's always been something I. How would I say? The art practice itself, the art talent, you know, the. the the little things you do as a, as a child, growing up, the scribbling on walls, the drawing on paper, the, the consistent, impulsive drawing. Then it wasn't practice, it was just something I was doing. Okay, uh, so, what I see here is uh, what resembles a palette. <laughs> Quite interesting. <laughs> Mix of colors and different uh, shades. Uh, yeah, my, you know, you can enjoy tell a lot about, about an artist. <laughs> just the, uh, your temperament might affect your palette in a way, you know. Uh, some artists might be more organized, you know, pre-mixed colors. I'm of the spontaneous type. I paint as it comes. My choice of colors might not be pre-arranged. It might just be as it comes. So that by, that's why it looks like a bomb when I'm my palette. I'm sure that's why I find this guy. <laughs> a lot of times it's I, I'm trying to be tidy here, so this place is very so This is your worksheet. <laughs> so this is where the painting starts from, actually. Okay. So it looks like I'm actually. So you are the, the the painting process starts from here. In fact, the work mostly is here before. This is where the thinking process starts from. Which is actually why I like painting. You know, it it's, it allows me to express myself in a way that. You know, being in school, we, we tried all that forms of expression. So we tried sculpture, we tried other two dimensional ceramics. I think painting for me has always been, uh, you know, the, the, the I think colors, because the language of color has always been the best way for me to express myself. And convey my stories I tell and the message I try to pass. Um, 
I see different different things here, oil based things with it. The oil oil. They're not the palace oil. Okay. You don't work with acrylic at all. Mm, I can. I can use a lot of medium. But you prefer? Mm, yes, pretty pretty much. I prefer oil. Why did you feel? I like the quality. I like. Um, it's a question of method and material. It just it's really goes well with my thinking process. You know, not, it's slow drying and it's not, you know, so it allows me to ponder and not have to replace colors every time. And it's the quality on the work, on the ground you know, I'm working on, it's, it's different from acrylics and every other technique. Though I like acrylics and gouache and watercolors and I, I do that on the other, you know, but most currently I'm working a lot on all. Um, I see something interesting here. What what exactly are you working on here? Okay, currently I'm working on this oil on copper. A copper plate. A copper plate. It's okay. it's not very as interesting it, as it is. It's not a very common thing to see people painting on copper, especially in modern, you know, in contemporary, contemporary practice, because it's uh, I would say the the, the the preparation of the of the material, the ground is really tedious. You know, getting clean copper is kind of, especially here in Nigeria, it's, it's it's difficult. And then it's a different feel, especially if I used to paint it on canvas and other on other surfaces with more resistance. It's you know, it's it's, it's metal. It has this glossy. So it's not as absorbent as canvas. It's not absorbent at all. It's, so it's a different feel. It was sink or swim. I was going straight up for my, to pursue my art career, whatever the case, you know. So, and it's you. You look at us, Nigeria, because Lagos is is the hub for art. It's, it's our New York. And over time, artists have always been migrated to where in those days of Paris. That's why you have the Picassos and the, the Spain, you know, they, we, it's, all, it's, it's a constant thing. So Lagos is the creative center. Basically, I, I, I would say, I would say, we are, it's, it's, it's the, it's the co creative center and the commercial center. As far as, yes, as far as the art business, the art pursuit, you know, this is where you have the people, the both ends. There's a lot of artists, there's a lot of artists, people who consume, you know, the, the two ends of the, yeah. Uh, the producer and the, the market the market is here in, in summary so that prompted and i like it i'll be the first <laughs> as weird as that's what i like because i like the the i don't know i don't like to be in it the the noise and the buzz they love are you still new in Vegas? yeah no, i would say so i can't my special option <laughs> no but there's a lot of inspiration to be drawn from the the buzz, the haste, you know, the commercial activity, the people, all sorts of people. I mean, it's going out alone a, a single day, just taking a stroll down the road. Kind of. But life here is, I think it's, it's, it's uh, you know, artists want to find inspiration. 